Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a bunch of puffy paint that you guys cannot see. I have red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, blue, purple, and pink, brown, black, and white. So today we're decorating these donuts that I made out of air dry clay. They have been sitting for around three years. Um, like three hours so i'm real excited to paint them so yeah let's get into it so the first color i think i'm gonna paint this one is kind of i want it to look glazed so i'm going to grab a nice frosting ish color so we may have to mix a couple of our paints okay so right here i have some white puffy paint so i'm going to actually put it right here some I'll be back. Okay guys, so I did that so far. The next thing I'm going to do is grab one of the colors. Hmm, let me think. I do like chocolate a lot, donuts. I like chocolate donuts, but I also like strawberry donuts. How about a chocolate donut with strawberry sprinkles? That sounds pretty good. So, let's pour this in. Yo. I wanted to make it like a good texture base for my donut, so let's mix it to see what color. It should be a lightish brown, like a glazed color, like this. So it looks really good. So now I'm going to put it on this donut. This is the top side, so yeah. It looks so far like a glazed donut and i'm not even like really begin yeah so it looks really cool so um, white mixed with brown equals a glazed color so if you ever make air dry donuts for your um american girl or my life as dolls or maybe even journey girl dolls or our generation or any other type of dolls that I may have not heard of. Just make sure that you, if you maybe have air dry clay when we are all in our homes, we can do this because it's really fun. Especially for a craft, maybe if your friends don't want, like, if your friends like dolls and you like dolls, and maybe you're having a nice little, like, party or sleepover or something, then it's amazing. So. I think it looks really good. Like, why can't I eat this? It looks so delicious. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some pink and make some little sprinkles. Some, yeah, little sprinkles all around. Oh my goodness gracious this looks so cool so just put some little dots so it looks like this that looks so adorable i'm so excited for my dolls to play with it once it dries so that one looks so cool i'll put it over there to dry now this one it's going to have a filling, so I feel like we should do maybe this part first and then the filling. So the color for this one, I want the theme to be more of like a rainbow theme, so we are going to need all the colors. We're going to need red. We're going to need orange. We're going to need yellow. We're going to need green. Oh my gosh, this won't fit. Green. We're going to also need blue. So which one do I do this? Oh, and for green, which one do I do, guys? Okay. So point to one, and if I pick it, then you were good. That was good a good choice. Okay, I'm going to choose this one because it looks really good. Same for this one. Which one do you guys choose? Okay. If you choose the navy blue, you were right there. That was a little joke. And then, last but not least, purple. So, we have all the colors. I'm going to split them up. 
So the first color we obviously need for this rainbow donut is red. And the filling, instead of making it red, we're going to make it maybe white, I was thinking. So I'm so excited. On which side? Should we do it like that or like this? I think I'm going to do it like this. Okay, I'm trying to be very precise. Okay, so this video will be posted on Saturday. So I'm going to choose a bit of red. A bit of purple. And I'm not doing all the colors. I was just choosing between some. These are brand new, by the way. I have no idea where I got them from, but... Yeah. Purple. And you guys... Which, which other colors did I get? I'm only choosing three. Which other color? Okay, guys. So we're going to do... A challenge. So we're gonna do any mini mini mo between these two, and then between these two, and then any mini mini mo battle off. Okay, so any mini mini mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If you halt, wait, I forget how to do that. I think it's like any mini mini mo, catch a tiger by its toe. Uh, I don't know how it goes. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it. So, I'm guessing it's this one. Maybe wrong, but I think it's orange. Okay, so, sorry, yellow. It's okay, then. Let's do this one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, then my, my mother said to... Pick the very best one, and you are not it. Okay, so, <sighs> now these two. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. It, my mom said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Okay. It's a green one out of these colors. Green one. So, it looks really, it's called apple green. All of them have their own names. So, like, there's navy blue, yellow, and F red. Like, they, but this is called apple green because it looks like an apple. So, yeah, it's really cool. Let's get it on. Ooh. So, we have this little knife. It's for kids, though, kids. So, I'm going to clean it off. So, this is on parchment paper, by the way, guys, so it's not my table. So, ooh, are you kidding me? That looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh! How do you resist something like this? Like, gorgeous. That looks gorgeous so far. I love how it, like, looks. So the next thing I'm going to do is the filling. So I'm so excited. Let's choose a color. So for this one, I'm going to be be choosing between brown, white, yellow, blue, orange, black, pink, light blue, and green. So I'm so excited to be choosing which color. So, I'm going to be choosing two colors. Two, two, two. Focus. Okay, two colors. So, yeah, let me choose between these. Okay, so the first colors I... So, I'm going to put it over here so you guys can see my little setup. 
Alright, so the first color I'm going to say I absolutely don't want out of these are pink for my filling or orange or yellow because that just sounds odd. I don't think I want these two either. So it's down between these four. So, which two? I think I'm probably going to go with these two. Or these two. Okay. Figured it out. These two. So, you know, it's simple. All you have to do is unscrew the, the caps or the lids, however you guys want to say. And this is what made that little brown. So I thought, hey, we can use them once more because they were good the first time. And. Okay, guys. So it's a bit hard. Oh, no. Oh, I'm just going to do that. So. Um, I want you guys to really focus in on the donut. So, right here, there, and then on the outside, we want some brown. Oh no, that did not turn out well. Ah, this donut's messed up. So, I'll be back after I clean this up. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I just cleaned it off. I'm going to actually choose just between one color because it's too hard to do two colors. So let's go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. My mother said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. So this one's not it, so I'm going to put the lid back on. And, yeah, we're going to just do brown instead of white, which I started off on. So I'm going to tip this part over. And, oh my gosh, this is not going to work. Um, I'll be back once I figure out a way. Okay, guys, so I figured out a, a way to do it. I'm just going to do it like this. And, one second. Oh, puppy paint fell. I always say puffy, or puppy. So, if you guys saw in the last video about my twin, it's true, it's real, it's not clickbait. Oh my gosh, guys. So it's fake, it's not fake. Oh my, yes, that looks so cool. So another way you can do it. Just like that, get it in. So I'm standing up for this part. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry that you guys were just staring into our earth. Like, why did I click on this video? Yeah, I don't know why. There. So, um, we have this donut done. We have both the donuts done. So that's their final looks. They look really cool, I'm going to say. But I can't show you guys right now because I have paint all over my hands. So anyway, yeah. Looks really cool. The napkin. So, okay. Let's just kind of talk about. So I'm going to move all of this stuff over. There. Here's a cleanish surface. Okay. We today are going to be talking about... Ow, it's heavy. Creola's air jet clay. <laughs> oh, it's going to be behind the camera because I can't handle it. We're making a donut. So, I saw this on my YouTube channel. I was like, heck yeah, I have to do this. So, it's really cool and easy. So, yeah, let's just do it. You grab a bit of clay. That just neatly needs to be unsolid <laughs> from in here. So... Sorry, this video is a bit long. It's probably going to go up to like 20 minutes. But, okay, you clicked on this video. You knew it was going to be long. So there. Got the clay. Right there. Oh, sorry, guys. So, here's my own way to do it. Let me lift it. 
You did not see that, hopefully. Um, the first tool you're going to need is air dry clay, a pen roller, like this one, it's play -Doh, a Play Doh one, a toy knife, or a toothpick, and puffy paint, which I actually got a set. Here's the box. I'll show you guys some. Here's the the logo thing. I'm trying to show you guys some. That was the logo thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is roll it between your hands, like so. Then toss back and forth to make it the sides a bit more and each time doing this so if you already saw by the title of the video it's gonna take long kind of so there set it down the next thing you're gonna want to do is gently push down on the air dry clay like so the next thing you're going to do is grab your pen roller, gently push down in the middle, and then lift, and you should see it like this. Then you have some clay. Take that part, the, the rolling pen out. And have your own donut but for instance say that you don't want your donut to be ginormous because this looks small to you guys but it's ginormous in reality okay well you can chop it and do all of that stuff but I'm not doing that I'm making those donut little bites that they sell at the Krispy Kreme so make sure you put down parchment paper because it will get messy. Do the same thing, but with less clay, air dry clay, to make some little donut bites. And if you want to go more detailed, you can cut into it your little donut bites. Which, I'm not going to be doing that today. Because... Yeah, I just don't want to. So, that's how my donut by lo should look. Make sure it's really flat. So, with the, the, the Play-Doh knife, or maybe like a plastic knife, like a fake knife, it should look like that. It looks so cute. So, let it sit and make a couple more different flavor kinds, maybe. Like, if you want some other kinds so this i don't think has ever been done on another channel i've watched this on another channel i don't know the name of the channel but it's really cool i watched a different way to make it but it didn't have these donut bites so it's my own creation it's like small donut bites that you can get like they're really cute so this video is probably going to be more than 20 minutes but yeah it's just i mean yeah, so if you saw the previous video about my twin, which I'm not revealing anything about her yet, so maybe she will be appear in a video. So yeah, my twin uh, is letting. So she got this puffy paint with me today, and yeah, uh, but yeah, it arrived in the mail, and she's not making the video because. Why would she want to be in a video? So, her creations are in her room. Well, not, like, in her room, but, like, you know, in my room. And I'm not going up there. So, I have already made a couple of these clay donuts. They look so cute. The next thing I want to show you guys to make for your dolls. And this is going to be so cute. I was thinking... If your doll wants a soda can, maybe you can make one for them. 
that would be adorable but you probably need more materials for that so yeah that's how i think i'm gonna actually make a soda can for my barbie for my nose so just grab some clay do the same method you do for the donuts but with smaller clay roll it you know we're gonna lower this so you guys like this And this is for your um, Barbie. So uh, I can't make a soda can. Okay, so I have no idea how to make a soda can. Hmm, let's see. What can you make for your dolls that's cute? Oh my gosh. So a rolling pen would be adorable for your Barbies. Because if you have rolling pens, you like to bake or cook, then you probably have a rolling pen so I'm making one it's gonna be so cute so and then i can add some little wood detail and that's gonna be adorable it's like how can you not add wood detail to a rolling pen because it is basically a wooded item so let's do it let's make the pen oh, i have hair okay. So, um, yep, I'm so excited. Maybe you're, you can make your own clay or Play-Doh for your doll. Like, just grab a Play-Doh and Play-Doh and I can roll it out. Fair little rolling pen. That if you have air dry clay at home, it's perfect because it's cute. It's inexpensive. You don't even have to paint it if you don't want. So, I'm so excited. So, that looks adorable. And I'll show you guys what it looks like once they're finished, the finished products. But that is so cute. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you get this video up. Zoomed in. Big thumbs up. And, anyway, I'll see you guys in the end of the... I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you go subscribe to the channels right now that are at the end so see you guys in the next video and here are the channels bye